Pupusa is the largest carnivore on Madagascar. It's the top predator. It's the natural king of the jungle. I'm Luke Dollar. For about 17 years, I've been coming to Madagascar, a country biologists like myself like to think of as a petri dish of evolutionary history. It's so unique that four out of five organisms you find here, you won't find anywhere else. One of the most elusive is the Fusa, which I study. Fusa in what? Uh, what's the number, Fusa and? Fusa and G6, JBA G6. Okay, got it. I didn't come to Madagascar to study the Fusa. I came for the reason that most people come to Madagascar, the lemurs. Lemurs are the famous icons of this island. And I was studying a particular lemur, and then this lemur ups and disappears. It turns out that this lemur had been eaten by this predator I'd never heard of before, the Fusa. In other parts of the world, we have whole guilds of large carnivores that maintain that, uh, that top predator level. In Madagascar, it's one animal. It's a pretty impressive one, too. What I'm gonna be aiming for is the fleshy part of its thigh. Got it. Right now, we wait for about 60 seconds. If I had to imagine what the common ancestor between the mongooses, the cats, and the hyenas looked like way back when, I imagine it would look a lot like a fusa. She scratched up her face a little bit, but it's just light, light abrasions. We've come to learn that fusa are active pretty much equally day and night, three hours on, four hours off, four hours on, three hours off, throughout the 24-hour cycle. And we've come to learn through going through tons and tons of, of, of scats, fusa poop, uh, and identifying everything that was in them, that they eat pretty much everything in the forest with a heartbeat. Some of that is lemur, some of that is rodent, some of that is reptile, but fusa are in fact an equal opportunity predator. Those two things alone are just amazing in terms of not having realized this about an animal that is so important to the survival and the maintenance of the systems in Madagascar. Throughout the island, I estimate that there's definitely fewer than 3,000 fusa left in the wild. And so I spend half, probably more, of my time working on the conservation of the species. Because not doing so would guarantee that by the end of my career, I'm gonna have a whole trove of information about a recently extinct species.